drum heller area. Now I want to go back to Dinosaur Provincial Park. Okay guys, I've left Drum Heller with uh, virtually no footage at all. Um, it was just, the lineups were just way too long, hours just to get a ticket. And then another hour or so to when, once you get a lineup to get in. So uh, it would have taken me all day just to, just to get in there, just to take me in there. So. Uh, I made a mistake. I should have stopped at Dinosaur Provincial Park on the way. Uh, I've got to go two hours back now uh, to a place called Brooks, near Brooks, where I can uh, go to uh, Dinosaur Provincial Park, which is virtually the same as uh, Drum Heller area. So we'll go back there and we'll find some uh, good bones and stuff to the video, some countryside. It's, uh, like Fred Flintstone. Just walking around out here makes you feel like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> you expect a dinosaur around every bend. Like, look at the formation that they have here. think when it rains, wash this all away, but it just runs off so fast. Look Some of the rock looks very uh, dark in color like it has a lot of iron in it or something. And then this, see there's a thick layer, well, several layers there. And then at the top again, there's another dark layer. How that all formed there like that. Dr. Philip Curry. As a paleontologist, I have found thousands of bones belonging to the 35 different species of dinosaurs discovered here in Dinosaur Provincial Park. This display is a replica of a portion of a bone bed, just one of more than 200 bone beds that we have found in the park. The jumble of bones represents the remains of many individual dinosaurs.